What is good? It's your boy, Lord Williamson, coming back to you with another one, man. And this is my last day in Bali, man. In like two hours, I will be headed to the airport, and I'm going to my next city, my next country. Y'all know what it is, man. I've been here for a month, and I got some good things to say about Bali and some bad things to say about Bali. But all in all, it was a good experience, man. In a couple of hours, I will be headed to the airport in Bali and Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. I'm coming for you. Let's go. man so we just got through the airport uh definitely i suggest you guys come early because it was so many people i'm talking about it took me about an hour and a half just to get through right now we're about to catch the flight but i'm about to go to the lounge first y'all know i'm an advocate of the lounge man get that lounge access man makes your travel experience way better so if y'all need that lounge access hit me man i got my referral man y'all definitely got to check it out I'm telling y'all I ain't bought nothing at the airport since 1987, boy. Mm-hmm. Gonna put a couple of these in my bag. I'm gonna put my link in the bio. Hey, y'all know me, man. They was trying to limit what I could take out of there, so, you know, I had to think on my feet. I had to improvise a little bit. They was like, nah, you can't take all that stuff. I was like, all right, don't worry. I'll put it back. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> I'll put it back. Pockets ain't empty, cuz. <laughs> And we ain't hungry no more either, bro. And we are finally in Ho Chi Minh City, a.k.a. Saigon. We are in Vietnam, if you don't know where that is, man. I just got off about a three and a half hour flight from Bali. I ain't gonna lie, I was ready to get up out of Bali, man. And as soon as I touched down, I was like, yeah, this is more my speed, man. I got the junkies over there doing their own thing. I got the ladies of the night over here doing their own thing. I got men shooting dice, playing spades. Ladies selling chicken on the corner, man. <laughs> Shout out to my boy in the streets with Keith. Off of his recommendation, I booked a hotel right on the walking street for a couple of days just because, you know, I wanted to see what it's like. But I got another Airbnb a little further down because I don't want to stay in the chaos 24-7, man. And let's get up in these Vietnam streets, man. Let's go. <laughs> craziest walking streets I've ever seen bro like you know it's crazy when you gotta just start clutching your pocketbook but yeah it was it was stupid man but now I'm about to give me a beer give me some food they say the beers here are super cheap so we're gonna see how cheap uh, and then we're gonna check it out man 
All right, so just to give you guys a few tips on how to move when you're on walking street, keep in mind, everything's going to be a little bit more overpriced here. Prices are going to double rather than whenever you're in District 4, District 5, or other districts other than walking street. That being said, you're still going to get a great price because we're still in Vietnam. And keep in mind, every time that you pass a restaurant, they're going to yell happy hour, happy hour. That is the thing here. Buy two drinks, get one free. Buy one, get one free. That's one of their marketing schemes that they like to run, and honestly, it's a good deal. I went to this place right here, and I thought I only had one one bucket of Jack Daniels and Coke for like $6. And they said, well, actually it's buy one, get one free. So it turned out to be two big buckets for a little under $12. So after these two buckets, I was sauced. Vietnam. A few moments later. what happened last night I really don't I don't I usually look at the footage to be like okay let me see where I left off but f that anyway I know from my Instagram story if my indus if my Instagram story is any indication look at this If my Instagram story is any indication on how my night went, which I know it went well, I'm drunk. Oh my God, move! Which I know it went well. Uh, yeah. Don't even know where I was going with that statement. Now we're moving hotels back to my original hotel, which is on the Walking Street. Um, I'm gonna get me something to eat, and then we're gonna start the day. This is my this is still my first impressions. But my first impressions from last night was stupid lit. We back at it, man. Last night was a humdinger. Last night was what we like to call a humdinger. Yeah, man. Bitch. <laughs> We gotta find some food, man. That's that's operation number one. I'm, I'm looking for Haduri chicken. My boy Keys and uh, Ride Two Trips. They told me that that was the best chicken they've ever had, so we gotta find that. Vietnam is lit. You know, Bali just wasn't my speed. Bali is like, oh, my pronouns are they, them, that. Here is like, my pronouns are that nigga. It's lit out here. Look at that. Let's walk down here, man. Walk down here. They got chickens clucking. We in the back street. 
in the back street, man. Yo, this shit wild. So my boy Keith and my boy Rod, they told me this is the best chicken they've ever had. Thank you. This is the best chicken they ever... Wait, how do you say thank you again? Come on. Come on. This is the best chicken they ever had, man. So we about to see. As a black man, I've had plenty of chickens. I've had chicken from the north, chicken from the south. Never had chicken from the Far East. Okay, we got the golden chicken, man. Let's see what it's hitting for. Let's see what it's hitting for. A lot of seasoning. A lot of seasoning. Man, you see that? It's fire, but it's fire. Let me say that. Let me say that first and foremost, it's fire. Secondly though, if you want better chicken, Little Rock, Arkansas. Hey, hey Keith, hey Rod, that shit was slapping. We are at the Central Market, if y'all asking. Now y'all gonna be in the comments, where is this bro? We're at Ho Chi Minh City Central Market. Now, you know, the origin of this of this name, Ho Chi Minh, is a dude, a dude was talking to another dude. He was like, man, do, do the girl mean a lot to you? And the nigga was like, man, that Ho Chi Minh a lot to me. Hey, yo, Ho Chi Minh City is my speed. Lit. People, I, like, it's just... I don't know, man. Bali... Bali's just like, it's like a vacation spot. That's it. They got, and my boy driving that big swingers. Okay. We got a little jump rope session. A little soccer over here. Where the, where the hoops at, man? Who hooping out here, though? Salsa dancing. Got some, uh, I don't know what, the, I forgot. Hey, y'all leave, leave in the comments. What's that called again? Pickleball. Ho Chi Minh City is definitely a vibe, but you know, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna let y'all make y'all decision on y'all's own. But this is more of my speed right here. Guys, guys out here drinking beers. Yeah, man. What's good, dogs? Huh? I said, what's good, man? Where, where you from? Toronto. It's all Toronto. How how long you been out here? Three years. Three years? They say COVID. I dip. Sheesh. No COVID they came yet. straight here? Best country to have a COVID like in the world probably. We had nine months no COVID. Everything. That's wild, yeah. man. I'm from uh, I'm from Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah, so but I'm moving. Oh, yeah. 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 Got it. Say what's up, man. Yeah. Cheers. Man, so I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here having a nice beer. Excuse me, ladies. I'm great at this. Let me give me one chance. Australia. Hold on. Australia. Say no. You're from Australia? Melbourne. Perth! Perth! Okay, when you come back. I Brisbane! Must know. I must know when you come back. Where? Right. Right. Here's Rock! I was gonna say come back, but nah. You're I'm sitting here with my man Dio. He's from Canada. And we we're pretty much talking about the differences in America and Canada. And I was like, yeah, Canada is a melting pot. But he was like, nah, it's a mosaic. Now, now explain to me the difference between a mosaic and a melting pot. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. It's like in Canada, we all about like um, diversity. So we're pushing difference. We celebrate difference, right? And uh, 
the way that we look at it is everybody can come to Canada and you can still be yourself. You can have your religion, have your culture. And we're trying to like merge that with what it means to be Canadian. Because uh, Canadian identity is is a multiplicity of difference, right? So what happens is um, I consider it the mosaic and we consider it the mosaic because it's like a picture with different colors, a mural. Everybody's involved. We got RCMP wearing turbans. You can keep your turban in Canada. Whereas I look at America, that's the melting pot where you get there, nobody give a shit about where you come from and what you do, what you celebrate. You American now. This is America. You better chant USA, USA. And if you ain't doing that, they're kind of out in you. So I mean, for me, having little, um, you know, actual on the ground, you know, in the field experience in the US, understand it to be a melting pot where they melt you to be an American. And if you're in Canada, you're trying to preserve what you are and just join, you know, the Canadian family. That's how I kind of look at it. Hey, cheers, fellas. Hey, I don't have any Yo, can I get another one? Hold it, say hello. Hello. <laughs> say hello from Germany. Come on, hey, fucking nice. Hello from Germany. <laughs> My man Peter from Germany. You guys got a request? You got a song request? All right, man. So we outside, man. He been here for three years, so he's showing me the ropes. Right Watch here. out. These girls is working. No, thank you. Happy bar. Happy bar. You can go. Yeah. Yo, let's walk through. But it's a little spot like this. Oh, I don't know. I show my friend, okay? Look. Yeah. First time. I do. Here, American football NFL player, oh, yes. superstar. Oh, yes. You know, NFL football, professional football player, big star. I show him upstairs. Come back. What's good? This man's never been in South America. You look Puerto Rican, my nigga. Now, fuck that. My name's Johnny Bags. I like that. I'm not gonna lie, I like that. I'm here with my boy Johnny Bags, man. He just bought me like seven shots. I'm done. I'm done. They call him Johnny Bags for a reason, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Bags, what's up, man? What up, guys? How you feeling, man? T tell, tell them what we're doing. Like, you, you talk. Oh, I tell them what you got to say. Yo, man, we're getting faded in Ho Chi Minh. Johnny f***ing Bags is what they call him. What's your name, bro? I mean, what, 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 what do you want them to call you? Uh, call you O. Oh. Mystery O, man. Mystery O. Mystery O, baby. And f***ing Johnny Bags. Right. All right, man. So I am wrapping up my first impressions vlog. And honestly, man, Ho Chi Minh City, really, I didn't know what to expect. I figured I may like it, but I didn't know what to expect. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. There's definitely some flaws in the city. There's always flaws in every city. But what I would say is, man, this is one city that has pretty much everything you need. Right now, like I said, I'm in the business district. I'm in District 1. Tomorrow, I head to District 4, and that's more of a chill area, more like the real-life area. You know, in District 1, when you have walking street, and then you have downtown. Like, right now, I feel like I'm in the business center, but whenever you're on walking street, there's just a bunch of tourists and a bunch of people trying to make money. So I'm ready to go see what the price points are like, because on walking street, it was a little bit more expensive than I would expect, but that's because I am on walking street. Right now we are in the business district, so I'm gonna go look at the cathedral and then we're gonna wrap it up, man. Definitely glad that I got to experience District 1 other than just walking street. So I advise you guys, if you're ever in Saigon, come to District 1, the business center. They have malls and monuments and great restaurants, man. We are just getting started with Vietnam, so I got plenty more videos to come. So y'all make sure y'all drop a like, subscribe, and drop a comment and let me know what you wanna see in these next coming videos, man. It's your boy, Lord Williamson. I'm out, peace. Oh.
stuff and peanut butter cookies for my psyche. The Kush clouds surround me and entice me. Just like your lady, dude. Never been afraid of you, cause I'm a born winner.